The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today we're on the Tahoe Q7i Extreme, clearly made for performance water sports, and I'm going to put it on a full test and performance evaluation. I'm Erin Coriel, and I'm going to take a look at the features. Why don't we start with the most distinguishing feature, this performance wake tower. The wakeboard tower is part of the optional Xtreme package and it not only increases the water sports capabilities, it really adds to the overall looks of the Q7i. The stern serves well as a staging area for putting boards on and there are two wet storage areas on the sides that would make a great cooler or even a place to put the masks and snorkels into before reboarding. Here we have a three-step reboarding ladder with grab handles on the side. And notice that it's off to the side, right in line of sight with the helm. While heading to the aft seating, I notice there is cooler storage beneath the transom walkthrough. Ensuring this area can function with the seating, there's a filler cushion that pulls out to accommodate an additional person. This space can accommodate four people and it's a comfortable place to sit and relax when underway. The cockpit and companion seats are almost identical. Both are contoured bucket seats that slide and swivel so everyone can be facing one another for conversations. One slight difference is that there's a flip-up bolster only on the helm seat. I'd like to see that on the companion seats as well. There are board racks available for the tower. Otherwise, there's the index storage locker and it's ventilated to keep the equipment from getting moldy. At the port console, silver and black are also a part of the extreme package. On the right, there's a high-end Blaupunk stereo with an MP3 port. There's also a non-skid surface to place your MP3 player or sunglasses. To the left is a storage space that can also be used for a cooler because it's self-draining overboard. There are two stainless steel drink holders and we have a 12 volt outlet that I'd like to see closer to the stereo. Let's move to operations starting with the helm. This helm is well laid out and also in the silver and black of the extreme package. Full instrumentation includes a depth gauge. A three spoke leather wrap wheel is on a fixed mount. Heading up to the bow, there are two cozy lounge seats that both lift up to provide additional self-draining storage. Similar to the one in the stern, if we lift this filler cushion, it reveals a non-skid walkthrough. The engine is accessed by a latch at the center of the seat back. The installation is wide open, leaving plenty of room to both sides for servicing the engine. I'd be attaching bungees to the deck to add crate storage. Now, let's get on the water. The Q7i Extreme has a length overall of 20 feet 6 inches, a beam of 96 inches, and a draft of 23 inches. With an empty weight of 3,031 pounds, full fuel, and two people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 3,661 pounds. With a 260 horsepower 5 liter MPI Merc Cruiser engine turning an alpha drive with a 14.5 by 19 Black Max propeller, we reached the top speed of 53.7 miles per hour at 5250 RPM. At that speed, we were burning 22 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 77 miles. Best cruise came in at 2,500 RPM and 24 miles per hour. That speed reduced the fuel burn to only 5.1 gallons per hour, which the Tahoe Q7i could keep up for 6 hours and 12 minutes, or 148 miles. We had a quick time to plane of only 2.9 seconds, accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds, 30 miles per hour in 7.7 .7 seconds, 40 in 10.8 seconds, and continued accelerating through 50 miles per hour in 17.1 seconds. Upon accelerating, the bow comes up 15 degrees and doesn't stay there very long as she's quick to plane. She doesn't require a lot of trim, just bring the needle up to about the one quarter mark to get her into her proper running attitude. Any more trim will induce bow oscillation and a couple of clicks back down will have it right where she needs to be at about a 3 degree bow high attitude. She turns like she's on rails showing no signs of slipping or falling off the turn. Normal turns have her leaning roughly 14 degrees but high performance turns can crank around to a little more than that. She's very responsive to the helm so feel free to keep a light hand on the wheel. The Tahoe Q7i represents one of the best of Tahoe's lineup. Well that's my features review. Not only is she made for extreme water sports, she's also a capable family boat. And that's my full test and performance evaluation. For BoatTest.com, I'm Erin Coriel. And I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.